Welcome to Mobile Must Haves. My name's Andy, and on today's video, we're going to talk about the 5 in 1 MIMO antenna. Now, a lot of you have purchased a PepWave unit, which is a great LTE modem for internet while on the road. Um, but another great option or kind of an add on to this, if you don't want to use the standard kind of thin antennas that come with it, is a MIMO five-in-one kind of roof antenna. We're not gonna go through the full instructions on how to install it today, but we are gonna show you how to get it connected to your device so you can use it out of the box. Later, in a following video, we will show you how to install this on your roof, uh, but again, for today, we're just gonna go through the, the setup. If you have any questions on how to set up your PepWave unit, use the links below in the description for that video. All right, so the first challenge is getting it out of the box. Well, although there's not much in it, the way it's packaged is nice, uh, but a bit bulky. So you pull it out of the box, you gotta deal with its cables. We're gonna feed the cables through the box. Okay, so now that we have the MIMO out of the box, there are a couple different ways you can mount this um, to the vehicle of your choice. Um, there's two different things you can do with the cables, and then a couple different ways you can get this to actually stick to the top. Um, for the cables, you can have them as they are now, kind of just coming right out the bottom. This is a great option if you're drilling a hole through the roof of, let's say, like an RV or something, uh, or like a big van. Um, you can do that and the cables will just come right through. All of those kind of gadgets are in the bag that come with it. The other option is, is you can take this off and have the cables come out the back. So when this sits flush, there's enough room for all the cables to come out and then you can push the cables through a seam or something else in the vehicle. Um, that is a really popular solution when you're using the magnetic mounting option. So this is when you're actually sticking this to the top of your unit. Um, you can use some magnets if you want, if you're using like an aluminum roof or a truck or something like that. Uh, or if you're doing an RV, you can use a sticky pad and you can uh, just directly kind of adhere this to the roof of the, uh, of the vehicle. So those are your mounting options. Now, um, from a setup, it's pretty simple. This comes with a default uh, five kind of foot cable cord. There is an extension. Um, however, if you're going to use the extension, you won't get all the power from the antenna that it's initially intended for. So you want to keep the extension uh, only if you really truly need it. Um, we're going to probably mount this in the next video directly uh, behind the screen there. And then the antenna is going to go directly above the roof on top of our RV. So that's where this is going to go and how we're planning that. With the 5-in-1, um, it is one antenna with five different things that it does, and hence its name. Each of these kind of cables is going to be color-coded um, for where it needs to be connected to on the PEP wave. Um, there are two adapters in the back. So these two gold adapters are for the Wi-Fi connections. You can put these on the PEP wave side or the antenna side. It doesn't really matter which way they go. Uh, but it won't connect without them. So make sure you don't throw them away. Make sure you keep them. Um, and quite simply, they just will screw right on the ends there. All right, so now we have both of our adapters connected. We're going to take our green cables, and we're going to screw one end on each side. It does not matter which one goes to which end. All right, and the most complicated two then are done. It's pretty simple. All right, so again, green is for Wi-Fi. If you're looking at these, you're going to see a kind of a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz. You know those are the Wi-Fi um, kind of signals. So there we go. That's how we know they're Wi-Fi. Now on the other side is where these other three are going to go. We have two cell phone um, inputs and we have a GPS input. The cell phone ones are going to be these maroon cables. And then the GPS says GPS, which is good. That will go in the middle. This does take a bit of stretch to get this done, I have found. So um, you're really going to kind of have to work the cables. Make sure you go over the top of the unit, because if you're mounting the unit anywhere, the unit is going to have to be flush against that. You don't want the cables back there. It is, it is a tight fit, but you can get them. So just kind of 
work with it and be patient. Be gentle though, it does not require any forcing. You don't want these cables to break. I also try not to twist them up any more than knead it up on the top. All right, and then the last one for the GPS goes in the middle. There we go. So now we have all, this is how we basically connect the, the PEP wave unit with the, with the MIMO. Now we're gonna talk about mounting options for the MIMO. Um, like I said, it does come with the uh, kind of through the roof method kind of pre-done. If you wanna change it to coming out the back, you're gonna have to twist off that bottom piece and run that off the wires. There you go, and just kind of run that all the way down. Once you do that, you can also pull, this is like a big kind of silicone rubber piece, peel that off. This will also be fed all the way down. There we go. And we need to take off this very bottom piece, which is going to connect it and kind of hold this, this center console on. Now there are two of these different sizes for lengths. So if you did need a longer one, say your roof is thicker, you need more protection in this bag. You can see there's a big long one that's going to be probably closer to three and a half inches where you can do that. So I'm going to take these off and I'll show you the next step. Now that we have that center piece removed, we can see it's very easy to kind of just push this cable down into the channel and to keep it in the channel so it doesn't pop out or cause any problems, inside that plastic bag we got are a couple of these clips. And these clips will screw in with the screws that are included and hold that in place. There are two of those. Okay. There you go, and now you can set the whole unit flat and it will stay flat. That is kind of the idea. Uh, okay, so once you've established the right way you want to connect uh, the cable in, um, you have two options from there. If you want to stick this to the top of your unit, to the top of your RV, there are circles that will go in place here. Um, that becomes a full sticking surface. There's sticker on both sides. So you can just adhere that right to the roof it's a good sticker, it's made by 3M, it's not gonna go anywhere. Um, you can stick that right on, feed the cable through maybe the refrigerator vent or other options, um, and that is not a bad way to go. Now the other option is using these magnets. So these magnets are optional mounting hardware that come with it. They are very strong, um, and they screw right into the unit, which we'll show you in just a second. And this way the unit is a little bit easier to remove, if you go with the magnetic option though, there is a suggestion I have for you, which is to buy on Amazon a neoprene sheet. And this is basically gonna go between the vehicle and the magnet, so it doesn't scratch and rattle as much. Uh, we'll show that on the install. Um, but for today, we're just gonna show you how to get these magnets on, um, as they are a little tricky since they are very strong, and, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. All right, so we're gonna take off the first magnet and when you do that, you're gonna notice there's like a clear silver, there's like this little white ring around it. That's actually just there so you can get the magnets apart. It's just packing material, you really don't need it. Uh, you take the, uh, the magnet and you're going to um, push it into the hole. It should fit just fine. And it's gonna come with six little screws. We're gonna take a screw out. And the screw goes right in the middle and is gonna hold this now in place. Chains. You know what? It's it's not the prettiest looking screwdriver, but it is super functional. Okay. All right. So now we're going to just screw in the magnet. There we go. So again, you would do this for all six, and then you have a strong magnetic surface to adhere this to, um, so this can go anywhere. All right. So I'm going to do the rest of this, and then um, we will hook it up to our pet wave. Okay, and there you go. So now all the magnets are installed. 
And the next step would be to take your neoprene, set it on the table, and I would do this outside or on, definitely not on your nice kitchen table, and with a razor blade, just trace the outsides of this. Um, so you get it the same size, you don't need any hanging out, any over the edge. You just need enough to kind of cover, cover the bottom so it doesn't scratch the roof. All right, in the next video, we're going to talk about and show you actually how to install this. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Mobile Must Haves channel as we are pushing out a lot of videos about everything you need to stay connected while on the move. Thank you guys so much for joining me. My name is Andy, and I'll see you next time.